Hey, what's up beautiful people? Today is chest day. A lot of you guys have been asking me for that. I have no idea why because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But here I am doing pin presses or what some people like to call dead bench, I guess. And the philosophy the philosophy behind this is that you want to work on a shorter range of motion and work on the explosiveness or some shit like that. I don't know. Bart just tells me to do it and I'm like, "All right, cool." And um, all I know is that I can do a little bit more weight on this Smith machine, so I feel like a fucking badass. Um, yeah. Look at that, 45. When the hell would will I ever be able to do a fucking plate? Come on now. But look at that, one, two, and ah, fuck. Yep, again, there goes Bart, trying to help me out. Um, but yeah, it, it's really cool. Like, I felt like a total badass doing this 45. Check this, check Bart's assistant help out right now. So, he's not touching the bar yet. Look at that, I'm still stuck. Look at that, one finger, one finger help. So awesome. So now moving on to inclined bench presses. And normally I always start with about 10 pounds. Uh, after just you know after I've warmed up but this time around I think it was because of the pin presses I had a I had a lot more strength it was pretty crazy so the tens literally felt like fucking two pounds um, so it was pretty dope I do this you know five reps five sets um, right after that I felt like 10 was way too easy so I moved on to 30 pounds I fucking hate when that happens my ear my earphone get stuck somewhere when I'm sitting down or like on one of the weights it falls out and look at Bart instead of putting it in my ear he freaking throws them out of my ear and of course I need my music to get pumped up look at this fool oh what a butthead but anyway yep yeah. so I'm gonna do five sets five reps of 30 and it looks like my chest gets a bunch of air every time I do that. But I only do it because I'm like um, bringing my shoulder blades together to make a solid, to make my back solid, just to give it a little bit more support. And this time around, again, fucking the earphone, I hate you. But again, I'm doing 30. I thought I needed help, but I think again, because of the, because of the pin press, it like, I don't know, it made me superwoman or something because I was able to do that without any sort of assistance. And Seriously, this is the first time I've ever done 32.5 pounds and um, I feel like a fucking badass and at the moment I was so in the zone I didn't even realize that I was doing 32 pounds. I've yet to touch that, especially on a fucking incline bench. I'm usually super weak. If you've seen any of my other videos, I'm always talking about how freaking weak I am, you know, in my upper body. Last but not least, here I am with Bart doing our circuit, and this is where we throw in the cardio portion of our workout just to get that, just to get that extra sweat in. And with this particular circuit, it's 10, 10, 10, so it's side raise, um, upright row, and then overhead press. Because I'm doing 10 of each exercise back to back, no breaks in between. I have to make sure that I you know select really small weight normally I would never pick up seven pounds because it's way too easy uh, but this time around my arms were so full of blood fucking earphone ah and they were so pumped that I could like barely pick anything up so I'm only using uh, seven pounds and then for the upright rows I'm using 25 but after like two sets real talk I moved down to 10 because it was just way too fucking heavy and then with the overhead press, I do 20 pounds, which I felt like I could have done a little bit heavier, but towards the end, seriously, I was just using all legs um, just because I, I couldn't do it. So we do about five sets, uh, 10 each, and god dang it, I was dying. You'll see me, you'll see me go from 25 right back down to 10. Yep, and uh, I was about to die. Uh, yeah, this is a really good cardio workout. Gets your blood flowing, gets your heart rate up, uh, starts burning that extra fat, especially after you do weight training. It's really, really a great way to end your workout session. And look at that, I look like I'm about to poo-poo my pants. I love circuit training, seriously. 
I get to incorporate all these different workouts uh, into one and I get a really good sweat in because the only time I sweat the most is when I'm doing the biggest body part uh, which happens to be legs and I love it I love it so much so when I do like upper body and stuff I don't sweat as much so I love to close it off with circuit training and uh, we try to switch it up every single day with different types of circuit depending on what body part we're working on that on that day so stay tuned for more circuit training tips thank you so much for watching here's my first actual set I am doing 135 as you can see there I'm still refining my technique and I'm trying to force that pop at the bottom and I actually did it but I got scared that I was gonna get stuck 